Well, welcome back. I'm sure you probably recognize my next guest or at least recognize her voice on the radio here in Cincinnati for over 30 years. Host morning radio on 103.5 WGRR. Her radio partner, I love this, her husband. <laughs> Today, she's not here as radio personality, but as an author. Please welcome Janine Coyle. Janine, good to see you. Hello, Tracy. And the mom of one of our Fox 19 employees. That's who right. We love Dylan. Yes, we love that. This book is absolutely adorable, oh, and somebody for you. every family mm -hmm. that has a pet needs this book. It's really absolutely adorable. How did A Pug with a Plan come about? Well, uh, the story A Pug with a Plan is about our, pug, our pugs, Frank and Tank, and uh, Frank, we had Frank for 13 years, and he grew up with our son, Dylan. Yeah. He did everything together. He was a mascot of the baseball team. You know, he would ride in the van when I'd I take mean, the I mean, he kids. was truly part of the yes, family. Yes, part of the family. Yeah. And, of course, as Dylan got older, uh, so did Frank. And so by the time Dylan went to college, uh, Frank was ready to go to doggy heaven. And then he, he passed away, just like so many families uh, there's Dylan and Frank right yeah, there when he was a puppy. Uh, just like so many families have experienced, of course, we were devastated, mm -hmm. as any family would be. Right. It's very, very tough. And so, you know, you're not really ready for another pet. But no. 10 days later, we got a call from Harold Dates from the SPCA. And he said, I have a pug down here. There's Frank. I have a black pug. And we're like, oh, no, it's too soon, too early. And I said, well, what's his name? And he said, Tank. Wow. So to me, kind of, God's hand was all sorry. over it. Frank found Tank from doggy heaven. He was truly a pug with a plan. And my message is that as a, fam as a family, and anybody, when you lose a pet, don't be afraid to get another pet from a shelter or wherever you would get your next pet. And look for those signs mm -hmm. that your dearly departed pet is is sending to you because I've heard that from so many people. Oh my gosh, I got my, my new dog reminds me so much of my yes, old dog. Yes. And so just just be open to that. It really is a book to teach kids about the circle of life. Mm -hmm. And I love it because it's very simple reading, mm -hmm. great pictures in there. Thank and you. so tanky. I know how cute is that. And so I think it makes it a little easier because it is a fact of life, right? right. Those things are going to happen. But um, when you have little ones in your family or you've grown up with a pet, it makes it a little difficult. It's like anything in life. You can't really prepare for that, knowing that there will be a time, sure. right, when you have to move on. Especially if you have little kids, you know, you want them to know that, that their pets never truly leave. Yeah. You know, their spirit is always there, just like, you know, if, if a grandmother passes away or a grandfather. So um, I'm, I love it. It's a true story. And so many adults that read it start crying because yeah. it, it evokes an emotion in them that it they really have It really does. kind of takes us back, you sure. know. Sure. Um, I love you're very passionate about the SPCA mm -hmm. and just the community getting involved because they always could use our help. Sure. Yeah. The SPCA does wonderful work. Of course, two locations in Northside and in Sharonville on Conray. Um, I recently become involved with uh, Kyle's New Hope Animal Rescue. They're wonderful. They're I've in met them a couple times. They've actually been here yes, a couple of times. They yeah. are wonderful. Of course, you've got Pug Rescue of Ohio. You've got so many. The Humane Society. I mean, there's there's no reason not to get a pet. Mm -hmm. Uh, from a shelter. And the thing is, you know, even if you don't have room for a pet in your home or whatever, I mean, they always need donations. You can sure. always give back to them as well. Sure, they need dog food, right. they need uh, things to mop the floor with, they need cleaners, they need cages. Right. I mean, anything that you could possibly donate. Of course, they need cash and they need volunteers. I yeah. mean, you can go to the SPCA and just walk a dog. Good thing for kids to be able to do I mean, with their parents. Yeah. yeah. Where can we find your book? Well, my book is available on my publisher's website, tatepublishing.com. It's available on Amazon. And at Joseph Beth, this Saturday, I'm having my book release party at I 11 a.m. So you got to come, Tracy. You can meet Janine. She yes. can find a book. It's a, it's a great book for all, all ages. Yeah. It really is. I can't wait. Come to my book signing. It's yes. going to be so much fun. We'll have all the information on our website at fox19.com. And thanks for letting us have Dylan. Thank you. We love him here.